What's up, modern steaders? We've had a lot of people ask us lately, what's the lay of our land and how is our homestead set up? We don't have a drone, so we're gonna do the best we can with giving you an overview with our camera. Let's start off walking it and we'll show you how it's set up from the beginning. So this is when you first drive in. This is our first field where we have New York City. We, this is our main pasture area where we run the meat birds and the chicken tractors. So our property line where that chicken tractor is is like the edge of the property line to the dirt road over here. And it goes in. We own an L. So that front chunk up here is not ours. This field right here is. When are we ever going to paint that sign? Whenever you paint Lumna Acres on the rock. We have our lower driveway to the house. We have the house and our walkout basement down that way. We keep coming up the road. The good chunk of our property is this woods right here. It's a rectangle and it goes back that way. Believe it or not, those woods used to all be potato fields before, is what I was told. That's just crazy. Those sized trees right there are where the potato fields used to be. That's just mind boggling. So you get the house with the raised bed gardens. Call this the upper driveway. We had New York City here earlier. We got our winter chicken coop. Here's the outdoor kitchen. And then we'll go walk down this way. Looks like mom left us some food scraps to give to the chickens. We'll go take these to New York City. So this is the back side of the house. The house, the back side. This is the field, and we'll walk down. It's going to connect back over to the other pasture. So walking down, there's the house. Walking down, right over here is our beehive, but the bees didn't make it through last winter. Hopefully this this coming spring we'll get some new bees. It smells like really, it smells like fresh apples. It smells like fresh apples. Look at all the apples. I remember last year I found a worm in one. Yeah. So the beehive is on our property line. And then back in here is our rectangle chunk of land. That's all woods. Basically the property line goes down this way and at an angle to that chicken tractor. It's hard to see because you got the big old apple tree in your way. Here are the apples Olivia was smelling. Look at them all. Why they do smell bigger? good. What's that? These ones are bigger. It's just different apples. Oh. Smells delicious. And we just come back walking out. And right here is where we got it all fenced off for New York City city limits. What's that? They're actually doing really good over here. Yeah, let's go show them how good they're doing in there. Let's shut up the fence first. Make sure we shut the fence off. Just toss in the food right here, Livies. Just throw it in. The fence is off. You can go right up to it and touch it. I guess I'll meet you over here. Should have wore your egg print. There's a few eggs. We'll probably get some more this afternoon. I'm sure we will. It's still early, mm -hmm. so we'll end up with some more eggs. Wanna hold that? Sure. Let's go see how good the chickens are doing eating the old apple orchard growth down. It's amazing. They've only been in here for a week today. And they've just been going nuts clearing this area for us. All in here looked like that. We have to come in here with the weed whacker and cut the bigger stuff down. Let them get all the leaves off of it. 
But they're doing an awesome job so far. We'll keep them out here for probably another two to three weeks anyways. We'll just let them clear this down nice and get all the big brush out of here for them. We need to go get a couple of heirloom tomatoes and make some pasture-raised BLTs. Let's go do it. Good job. Guess what we're gonna have for lunch today? We're gonna have some BLTs with pasture-raised bacon. So we're gonna find a nice yummy heirloom tomato. Ooh, that looks pretty. I think that one's the winner right here. Let's see what else we have. Yep, that's the ripest one. Let's grab it. If you've never had an heirloom tomato, you don't know what you're missing. The taste of them is just so much more flavorful. Looks so pretty too. Take a lot of lettuce or no? A good amount of lettuce, yes please. Just one side or both? No, oh, one side too. How much tomato do you want? What about salt too? Load her up. Load her up. This one's yours. Perfect. Looks delicious. Do you want more than that? That's good for me for now. Now that's a BLT. How about you cut yours? You will. <laughs> okay. Little carrots. Not my little carrots. I bet you our sandwiches are better than yours, Libby's. Kids. I'm not liking the good stuff. Did you like tomatoes when you were little? No. Okay. But we never ate heirloom no. tomatoes when I was a kid either. That makes a big difference. No. I don't like tomatoes when I was little. That's a good BLT. This is a good Yeah, I'm sure. Whenever we have pigs or chickens here and we feed them the food scraps, Pluto gets jealous. So watch this. I'm going to put my plate down and Pluto's even going to eat the tomatoes. Pluto, do you want some heirloom tomato? I don't know, but she gets so jealous she'll eat anything right now. Was that a good tomato? I don't see anything. Even the dog likes heirloom tomatoes. You ready to go hunting for some cucumbers? You got the basket? Yeah, you gotta find the cucumbers. I gotta find the cucumbers? Yep, what? We, the we don't even have to find cucumbers, we can find the cucumbers too. Yeah, that's a cucumber right there. That's too small. Ooh, I see one. Yeah, oh, you do. That's another smaller one. We can. That's not a bad size. That's a good eating size for you. Yeah. Because 
I don't eat a full cucumber. Let's see if we got any more. Ooh, any more in here. I see some zucchinis. Ooh, you can get some of those if they're big enough. Are they big enough? Oh, we gotta go on the other road to check out the zucchinis to pick them. Another. All of our cucumbers are medium size right now. Watch out. Let's go. Oh, here's one. Oh, wow. That's not a bad size no, one. It's not. What do you say? No, Can you get it? Is it pick and size? Mm. Yeah, that's perfect. Give it I a twist. It. It's got some pricklies on it. You alright? Yeah. Here. I don't want to take it. Because the zucchini isn't prickly, but then that is not yeah. cucumbers. The cucumbers are that. even worse. Mm -hmm. Cucumbers are like rose thorns. Yeah. You're a muddy mess. You blend in with the dirt there, Mrs. Pigs. There she goes, eating the applewood sticks. Looks like you found a nice mud puddle. How's that apple spots? Did you find one too? We hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it, it's really helping the channel grow. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Alumni Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Bye.